birds just uh, descended about another 500 feet. It's a perfect day for soaring. They smell chicken that I just put out for the black vultures. I love vultures. It's beautiful. I just got the whole chicken split in half. They really don't eat that much on a hot day. Actually, they skipped breakfast this morning. These are black vultures, the ones you saw in the air, turkey vultures. They change their water every day as well. I just filled up the bird feeder with Niger, that black seed on the top, that's expensive. 65 bucks for 25 pounds. And then that's regular bird feed beneath it. That's uh, corn dipped in caramel. There's a doe that likes to eat here at night. I thought she was knocking over the water, but actually it's squirrels which is why I put a big giant piece of petrified wood in the middle of it. These clouds are killer today. Now we've got the bees, which are having a heating problem. Which is why so many of them get outside to hive. You notice the ones up there fanning the hot air out of the hive as good as they can. They've got enough sense to reduce the population when it gets this hot. I supplement mine with sugar water all year long. Saves them from dipping into their own resources. These bees tend to be more aggressive on a hot, humid day. I mean, there's an increased chance if you're sitting in one of these rocking chairs just reading your messages or watching YouTube, one will come over and sting you. It's not like that when it's cooler. Great clouds. There's a black vulture on feet. Daisy, aren't you hot, hon? You want to come in, go Betty? Luckily, the humidity is not that high. You kicking it, girl? You want to come in, go Betty? Dave, come on, let's go, Betty. Come on in the air condition on. Come on on. Come on inside. Daisy. 
Big girl. Where you go, Betty?